Mining. Check. Grinding on wool. And seeds. And wood. Uh, and a bit of cooked mutton. Checking out the new ice and wood shop. Remembering that a sheep farmer is literally just a shepherd. Checking out the beautiful new rocket shop. Stocking our farm shop, which we are yet to name, by the way. Wondering what that thing is. Realising that I sell saplings, not seeds. <laughs> now, I'm going to be building a oak tree for the outside area. Putting all these seeds to good use. Realising I don't have enough seeds to make bone meal, so I'm just going to sell the seeds. <laughs> Accidentally crafting a diamond chest plate when you weren't going to because you were going to get an elytra instead. Diamonds you use for a chest plate. Oh, it happens. And of course, the most important one, a diamond hoe. Yeah, I think they got rid of the achievement because I, I didn't get it. Okay. At least now I have another cool decoration. Heading back to the uh, district for like six, the sixth time today. I still can't speak. Okay. All right. So this name probably isn't going to stick, but naming the shop, the shepherd shop. That rolls off the tongue. There you go. The shop is complete. We are halfway stocked. Halfway stocked. Becoming OP. I'm also just completely embracing the meme. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'll enchant the rest of my stuff uh, once I've got the levels. Because if you look at my bottom the bottom line thingy. Um, yeah, I don't have any levels. Hello, lads and ladies. Sorry for that really long intro. This is MC Tartos Boy. Welcome back to Amalga Craft. I believe this is episode three. Uh, yeah, it, it is episode three. And today... We have become OP, and next, we're going to be working on the golden sands of Tortoise Bay. So, I've been coming up with some rough ideas, and I've now got a picture of the design I decided on right next to me, right here on my iPad. So, what we're going to do is we are going to block out the foundations for where the walls are going to be for all the different buildings. Uh, we're going to have farms, houses, and a town hall, which will be very exciting. So these two buildings right here will just be houses. We might have something important in each of the houses. Like, this might be a, uh, a blacksmith, where we'll have a super smelter in, like, the basement or something. In here, we might just have, like, a just a normal house, where we'll have some storage for, like, a certain object. Uh, and, yeah, uh, over here, we're going to have the markets, which will be quite exciting. Uh, all over here, we're going to have kind of like this town square. Or maybe over there somewhere. I'm not completely certain, not completely um, hooked on any ideas just yet. Uh, but on my drawing, over here is where the markets will be. And there'll be like a little plaza, and I'll store some things there. Uh, I haven't completely decided everything, but I'll tell you once I've finished blocking out all these different structures. Kind of all the other shapes are very simple, but this farm here is going to have quite a complicated shape. Uh, let's just see a cow. Get this finished. Uh, bada bing, bada boom. Uh, yeah, very odd shape. It's going to be quite difficult to work with, but it'll be a nice challenge. Around here, we're going to have the town hall, but I'm not really going to block out the foundations just yet because I think I want to do that in a separate video because it's going to be quite a big project to undertake. I might want to change my ideas for shapes and things, so I'll do that another time. Here, we're going to have a small inn, which is also quite an interesting shape. By the water, we're going to have a boathouse, which is very simple, by the way. It's just a, a rectangle. And over here, we're going to have a, a jetty or a dock or whatever you want to call it. On this island, we're going to have a fisherman's hut, 
and we'll have a, another jetty dock thingy going out that way so we can get the fish and things, you know, like a fisherman. Here we're going to have quite a large house. This might be where a merchant or something would live or someone quite wealthy. Here we're going to have an uh, um, words. I'm sorry, I got very stumbled with my words because apparently I'm a three-year-old. Anyway, this will be another small farmhouse. We're going to have lots of sheep pens to hold sheep, which, once again, like I've said before, is, 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 where you put, is what you put in a sheep pen. Um, yeah. We're going to have wheat farms over there. Uh, yeah, we might build some more small houses jotted around, but... This looks quite good. This looks like a decent layout for our beautiful, beautiful town. I can't wait. I've also just had the grand idea of putting a lighthouse out here. So, uh, maybe the fishman is also the lighthouse keeper and looks over the dock uh, or the bay or whatever you want to call it. Uh, you know, make sure everyone's safe. Make sure no one's crashing into all these rocks and things like that and there, you know. Obviously, this isn't going to happen. This is Minecraft, but, you know, it's just nice and immersive and things. So, over here on the island, we have got the lighthouse. Um, everyone's just saying hi to Future themselves because I told them I was, I was recording the video. So, yep, yeah, hi to those guys. Anyway, over here we've got the fishermen. And the lighthouse keeper. Uh, a lot of these things will just be uh, purely decorational. Uh, but, yeah, this is going to have fish in it and things like that. Some of them aren't. Some of them have purposes. Yeah, I cut myself off halfway through that sentence then. Uh, over here, we've got the boathouse. Uh, you see that in the bottom left. Uh, thank you. Uh, actually, no, I'm not going to say anything yet. Um, here's the merchant, where they live. Uh, buy some wood, yeah. Here's the inn. Uh, also sub to Eclipse. Uh, we're getting a very off track. Um, here we've got the inn, which also is decorational. We're going to have different sheep pens and wheat fields and all that around, dotted around over here. We have the shepherd's house, other than me, because, you know, I'm the supreme shepherd. Uh, yep, um... Uh, he said link in description. Now I have to put it in the description. Anyway, uh, over here we've got the wheat farmer. Uh, yeah, yeah, stop, please. Um, this is where I live, you already know that. Uh, stop. Over here we've got the blacksmith or the super smelter, which will be underneath. And over here we're going to have the florist or the flower farm, which will be underneath as well. Uh, because I need dyes to colour the wool and get extra stonks. Uh, up here soon, we're going to have the market, or maybe over there or something. And then next episode, we'll do the town hall. So, um, uh, I've just completely forgotten what I was going to say. Uh, let's try that again. Everyone's just spamming their channels. Dude, stop. Dude, stop. Okay, um... Uh, I've completely forgotten again what I was going to say. Alright, once again, I've been caught off track. It's late, and I'm going to... Uh, yeah, good good idea. Everyone... Good idea. Uh, my horrific typing. Yeah, I do need to meet chat. Good idea. I'll figure that out tomorrow. It's late. Again, I'm going to be going to bed. And then tomorrow... And then tomorrow, I'm going to be building the first build, which I will decide which one to do. When the time comes, right now I'm just going to be uploading the second the second video. Because it takes like six hours to upload a video. Anyway, I digress. See you tomorrow. So we are back. And you may have noticed in the background, I made a bit of an embarrassing mistake. Alright, let's have a look. Uh, wheat farmer, you spelled wheat wrong, mate. Oh. We, we spelled wheat wrong. Well, I did. I'm sure you were all screaming at me. Like... That's not how you spell wheat. Oh, that's embarrassing. Anyway, right now, what I want to do is put away all this stone that's in my inventory and go get the materials I need to build the, the first building. I'm not too sure what I'm going to do first, but uh, I'll decide on that while I'm getting wood. Also, if you look over there, you can see Mitch is building his base up. 
And here too, I guess. Look, look at that. That's awesome. Uh, well, this isn't very good. It looks like a bee's nest has formed on the side of my tree. Not too sure what to do there. Anyway, honestly, I have no idea what to do about that. Uh, let's get some oak. <laughs> well, this is a rather odd looking tree, isn't it? It's just like a bush. All right, so I've decided on building the boathouse first. Now, this is going to be like a really old building compared to all the other ones, because like that one's going to be quite new in in the context of the village. So this one is going to be very old. It's going to have a jaggedy roof. Maybe I'm just thinking of an excuse to get a hardly rustic house because I, I like those. So far, we've just got a very robust shape. We've got this trimming or edging at the bottom. And then we've got this um, oak planks at the top for the walls. And for the sides, we're going to have some oak logs mixed in the acacia logs because it kind of looks like the oak logs have been worn down and things. So, yeah, it's very simple so far. But right now, we're going to detail it by mixing in some of these into the wall, putting in some stairs, maybe some slabs, trap doors, you know, things like that. I think that looks sufficient. So in here, we've got like a little gate so you can come in with an overhang. This is like if you want to bring any boats in, if you want to bring any boats out into here, into the street for whatever reason, or bring in a cart. Uh, you can do that. Yeah. Here, we're just going to have a normal door in case you want to come in normally. And I think next, we should work on the roof. I also think it's finally time to light up this area because it wouldn't let me sleep because there were monsters nearby. This is the pit underneath my house by the way uh yeah that looks good enough to me let's get out here we are just put down a torch and put the floor back in very poorly apparently so my plan is to use alternating stone bricks and cobblestone slabs because i think it'll stand out and it'll look quite nice and also it'll give it that ruined feel again that old warm feel too when i started i wasn't too sure how this was gonna look uh is that drowned is that is that a pesky water baby anyway as i was saying uh i thought it would be too different from my house but now that i'm looking at it this looks superb i i really like it but with the roof on i haven't completely finished yet which is also very exciting so we're just sailing around in my boat i'm gonna take you around uh that isn't very finished yet but it will be soon. Over here, we've got these overhangs which I had to change because they wouldn't work. But yeah, I think this looks quite nice. Now I'm going to do the other side. Now you may be wondering why the roof is all weird and like that. It's because it's slightly elevated on this side. So it kind of looks like it's sort of shifted with gravity and the weight uh, over time. Also, I didn't know how else to build it, but you know. <laughs> here we are with this side finished. Now, we're going to put in the uh, the windows, yeah. Now then, since this building's going to be old, it's not going to have glass for the windows, it's just going to have these fences, which you can see through, might be a bit hard, but I think it'll be effective. And we're just going to put on some shutters like this, a bit unorganised and things. Yeah, that looks quite nice. Now, I've got an idea, and I'm not sure how it's going to look, but I'm going to try it out. So what we're going to have here are some campfires. And we're going to have like this big door that's open like this, like a, a garage door. I'm doing it with my hands. You can't see me because, uh, well, obviously you can't see me. So we're going to have campfires that'll look like rails, put out campfires, and it'll go down here into the ocean. So what they do is they build the boat, uh, put it on the rails, and then push it out. Or if there was a, a life boat needed, like there was a, a big accident, they put it on the rails and send it off. Uh, I know this is what they do, sort of. Because I've seen stuff like this before. Uh, so let's just hope it looks like how I want it to. Yeah. Honestly, I think this is really cool looking. So what you do is you put the boat here. And it would be pushed out. Come down here. And go straight into the water. So yeah. That's that. Uh, if you guys like it, say in the comments please. It would be very helpful. Alright, so we've done the windows. The le loading bay, whatever this is called. Uh, we've got the uh, the gate inside and the door and uh, all the windows and all that, the roof. Now we've got to do the interior. And first, we're going to do the floor. 
All right, now that we've got the floor in, I've got some ideas for decorations. The first one is some very simple roof beams, just overhead like this. Oh, I'm out of logs. That's embarrassing. Time to go get more. As I was saying, I'm just going to put some support support beams across the roof uh, it just adds a bit of structure to the build makes it look a little bit nicer a presto a prestamente uh yeah looking pretty cool another idea i had was to put some like supports coming from the roof so that you could winch the boats onto the rails so what we're going to do is put those down and i've got some chains here and then we're just going to put these down like this and then it kind of looks like hooks that you would put the thing on and i just noticed that's not right hold on a lot of this is just guessing what you would have in a boathouse but i'd imagine if you're going to move a heavy boat onto here you're going to need some like suspension and things to help you do it i think we're going to put another one right there nice maybe we'll put some other chains just like around the roof and places yeah i think that'll look quite cool wait Horizontal chains? Yay! They've got horizontal chains. I, I had no idea. I didn't think they existed yet. Also, okay, yeah. So if there's a bit of lag, there is uh, some people AFK on the server. I say some people as one person. So maybe they're causing it. Maybe it's just my terrible computer. I'm not too sure. Don't come at me. <laughs> but anyway, now we have horizontal chains. I can do stuff like this. Or like that. Yeah. Ooh, oh, maybe we could do something like that. Ooh, that's effective. I think. Hope. Uh, does that work? Not as well. Uh, but you know, I think this looks cool. Over here, we're gonna have some like racks on these walls, so it sort of looks like. And then we're gonna put on boats like these. In there, if it'll let me. Oh, it doesn't work. Oh, no, never mind. This is going to take some finicking. After a lot of that aforementioned finicking, uh, we finally got our boat rack. I think that's looking quite nice. Over here, we're going to build a workbench. And then maybe we're going to have like a, a boat, like here-ish. What, they've just built or something. Yeah. We've now added a workbench with a um, stone cutter and some barrels. And in the barrels, we're just going to put the uh, some boats and things. Uh, I don't know why that happened. There you go. So these will be the boats we actually use. We're not going to use those because it took so long to get them in there that I wouldn't want to, you know, have to get them back in. Anyway, uh, I decided to put the bench here, the workbench, because over here is where we're going to have the boat. Because if you've got a boat and you bring it in, you're going to want it to be here, right? Not over there. Yeah, I think it makes more sense this way. Also, the boat racks are here. I just think it makes more sense. And over here, we're just going to have a very, very simple boat. Where we're going to go like that, like that, that, that. Uh, yeah, and on the sides, we'll put the signs. Uh, neat. We're just going to make this a little shorter so it fits in nicer. Um... We're going to want to put that there. Uh, done. 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 Here we are. Alright, yeah, I'll just... Yeah. So that's what the boat looks like. And, yeah, I think this is all finished. I might put in some lanterns and things, light this place up. And then, yeah, it's going to be finished. And we're going to do the docks. And then we're going to check in our shop, see if we've made any diamonds. So, all I've really done is made a very, very simple uh, dock, or jetty, or whatever you want to call it. All I've done is mixed in slabs with uh, the occasional campfire. And maybe in a future episode, we'll build some boats here and things. Yeah, that sounds great. I'm really quite proud of this. Uh, I want to know what you guys think of it too. Uh, I think it's quite a cool build. Uh, very rustic. Uh, still fits in with the style of what the village is going to be. Um, don't mind that, that's just the banshee, he lives in my basement. Uh, anyway, uh, here we've got some boats and a workbench and, of course, the thingy. Yep. Alright, now that we've finished that, 
uh, I'm going to test out this thing. Uh, and we're going to head to the shopping district, see if we see if we made any diamonds. Okay, yeah, it doesn't work. Honestly, I don't really mind because it is there for decoration. I mean, it's, it's a bit of a letdown, but I, I don't really care. <laughs> and we are off. Here we are. Here we are. Let's check if we have made any diamonds. Ooh, I'm quite excited. First, let's start with the special deal. Uh, nope, nothing there. I have a feeling. My guess is that no one's bought anything at all. Two stacks per diamond. Uh, bad start. Bad start. Cooked mutton. Hey, someone bought my mutton. I suppose that's good. Wheat. I haven't stocked any wheat. Saplings. I didn't stock any of that. Wood. One diamond. That is a successful payday. Yes. Let's go. Yes. Okay, lads and ladies, both or neither. Um, yeah, this is the end of the video. Today we did quite a lot of stuff. We became OP. We stopped the shop, which made a diamond. I don't know why I'm, I just keep doing this, but okay. Uh, we also built the boathouse, which was a lot of fun. Hope you guys liked it. Uh, anyway, that's the end of the video. Uh, bye. Yeah.